Ooh, cemetery gates. And a new patio set. Yeah. Anyways, uh, and a cornhole. That's not completely done yet. Actually, while I have you here. Oh, change the battery pack. All right. Cemetery gate. And a cornhole board. It doesn't look like a cornhole board, but it is. The other one is painted. And it's on the other side. And my battery pack is dead on this thing. So I can't walk over there. And my new patio set. Yeah. Anyways, so today uh, we're going to start making new cemetery fence gates. Now, these cemetery gates are made by Becky at Witch Creek Cemetery. She gave them to me because she doesn't want them anymore and she's going to do new stuff. These are also the pillars that she made. I like them a lot. I may actually repaint them to make them look more like the pillars that we already have um, that are more of the sponge painting look. Hers has more of the wash look, which fit her... Um, facade and the rest of her fence set. Um, I didn't do that last year because I didn't really care about it because I didn't have a gates for these tall ones. I have shorter, she had shorter ones as well. These are the taller ones. So these are going to become the front yard ones. The shorter ones are going to be the side yard fence um, columns and those I'm going to make the exact same um, gates for each so I don't have to worry about which one goes on which. <laughs> so of course they have the finials on the top and they have uh, a cool, you know, they have the little attachments down there. Very easy to screw into the wood and all that kind of stuff. And you've got that. So, what I've done is I've cut everything. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So, I'm going to do an instructable on this as well and post it up there so that I can easily post that on the, web, on the website and on the video down below so that you have an instructable to go off of as well. I'm not really going to videotape this because it's kind of, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to do it in steps because I'm not going to do all of it tonight. Um, uh, you know, and it's kind of, it's not really fun to watch me cut holes and things and cut PVC pipe and stuff like that. So it's very, it's pretty self-explanatory. But um, so what you have is you've got starting at 90 inches, you cut two. So, so you're going to get 12 pieces of half-inch pipe. You cut. Um, make sure you start at 90 inches and you go down five inches per set of pipes. So you have two because you're gonna make two gates. So you have two at 90, two at 85, two at 80, two at 75, and two at 70. Then you have those two right there that are 74 inches. That is the arch piece that goes up. So that is an arched piece of pipe. So you will need a heat gun to arch that as well. Should be pretty easy though. You may not have to do very much heat gunning or maybe any at all because you use screws. I don't know, there's no screws on that side. You use screws to put them into each one of the pieces of pipe and same with down here. So uh, then you also cut, um, those are 72 inches, and I cut them at a 45 degree angle on the top there. And then you have six of these that are 24 inches, and those make the up right there, the, up, the bottom there, and the bottom there. Then you take on each one of those, on four of those, you're going to cut, or you're going to drill holes for the pipe to go through. The one right there is a two and a half inch gap, the pipes are four inches apart, and there is a five and a half inch gap right there. So you do that two times. Easiest way to do that is to put both of. Um, I've tried it before, where I've put two of these pieces, two of these pieces together, and used my drill press and gone down through it. It really, I mean, I mean, it works, but you really have to hold the pieces really well. Um, if you just do a single one, you're you'll do really nice. Um, this one uses um, the brackets like that, and you can do that. Um, you wouldn't necessarily need to do the brackets. Um, you could, I mean, if you do pilot holes um, and, you, and you use some smaller screws, you could probably get away with it. But I would just say go with the brackets like, like Becky did. It's a very easy way to do it. Um, and uh, though, again, you're going to have to get some small screws to do that. They have some metal, some, uh, some silver screws that, that come with these that are usually pretty shallow. Uh, that will work for it. Um, the other thing you could always do is always add some wood glue in there a little bit. Some of those don't sit up real nice together, but yeah, some of, oh yeah, no, so no wood glue. But you could do wood glue here because it does hit wood to wood there. Uh, so yeah, use some use some uh, uh, some brackets on that. Uh, and then you're going to need screws, like I said, to put in each one of these little joints of the pipe uh, to the other pipe. So, um, and then some hinges to go right there and that will uh, attach it to the wood. 
So I will, uh, I'm going to make more of an instructable on this, so it'll be pictures versus a video, but I just wanted to uh, give a quick little video of what I'm going to be doing with it. Obviously, this time I'm going to actually assemble it, and then I'm going to paint it after it's assembled, because I hate painting PVC pipe. Um, one thing about painting PVC pipe is you need to take sandpaper to it and rough that up to the point where you may not even be able to see the words or at least not make them legible at all because there's a coating on these that will not hold the paint, especially spray paint, but latex paint will just run right off of that. So if you um, rub, you know, go down the entire length a bunch of times with sandpaper, it will grab the paint that way. Um, you can you can spray paint these, you know, the wood. That's that's easy to spray paint. Um, but I just figure I'm going to try it this time of actually assembling it and then painting it that way. Because um, I just hate rolling these things around and trying to get all the sides and going back and forth with the spray paint when you can easily just hold this and put it on the ground and spray it all and then, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that is the plan. And then, yeah, so the, oh, yeah, and then the finials you can get at a place called King's Metal Architecture, or King's Architectural, yeah, King's Architectural Metal. Uh, they are plastic finials. They're called F-I-N-N-I-A-L-S, I think. Um, and uh, they make several different times. They make the, uh, types. They make uh, fleur de lis. They make these ones. They make several different kinds. Um, one word of advice, though, if you do the fleur de lis, or they do have one that does not have a ball on the top up there, they can't. Even though they're plastic, they can be sharp. Uh, the fleur de lis do not have a ball on the top, and those you try to jump over those things uh, when you're building your haunt and stuff like that. Uh, you know, maybe wait for your fence to be last uh, because I have jumped over my fence many, many, many times and catching bees in the middle of your pants is okay. Catching a fleur de lis in the middle of your pants, especially if you're a guy, not fun. So, uh, and safety, you know, if kids are walking by and they're grabbing the fence, you don't want them grabbing those fleur de lis. So, um, if you have a space, like for this, a fleur de lis wouldn't be that bad because they're up really high. Nobody would touch those. Um, but your regular fence, uh, I would say go with something like these. Um, so anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll, uh, put up the, uh, instructable when it's, when it's done, I'll put it on here and we'll go from there. So. Okay, so we just had a bunch of kids come over randomly and start playing in the pool, so I couldn't do a vlog. Anyways, um, so I finished the cemetery gates. Ish. So. It's super cool. There you go. I gotta put the finials on top, but those are over there. Anyways, so what I did was a little bit differently than the other ones, is that on the other ones, there was a hinge that went right there. And I decided that it'd probably just be easier and quicker to just do the staples from the staple gun. Since you're already stapling these in, you might as well just go along and staple these in. So I just stapled, I just put the space in between each one just like that and stapled it from underneath. And I did the same thing over here, stapled it from the back into this piece here. And then I took the screw and put it there and there and there. And then you put a screw there, and right there, and right there, and right there, and right there, and then you do it up there. What I did was I did these three first, then you bend it to up there. So what it does is it gives you the shape, and then you go back and you line up the each, each, each one of these and screw them in. And then that gives you the nice shape. So um, I'll put the finials on this. This one's drying. My hands hurt from spray painting, um, but there's the other one right there getting ready to be the finished the other side to be spray painted and then these will be done all i gotta do is add the hinges so um i will make a list of all the measurements and all the parts you need uh individually how many you know all your your whole parts list even down to how many screws you need um and the length of the screws that i used because it does not pop out the other side see see there's nothing on the other side it's so cool so yes pool is ready pool is used yeah super awesome Anyways, so uh, that's it for the uh, cemetery gate tutorial. How to. I actually did these, I built these things 
just this afternoon. I cut all the PVC one day and all the wood one day and the holes in the wood. And then I did all the pipe, um, put all the pipe in, put it all, put it all, and I put it all together today. Um, it took me about a less than an hour to do all of that. It probably takes, this is about a two hour project if you want to do it from start to finish um, in one, in one time. Then of course you need to do, you know, wait for the uh, uh, paint to dry, but it's spray paint. So it dries pretty quick, especially if it's a nice day. So uh, about a two hour project and you have two cemetery gates. So a minimal, uh, I would say, because if you get if you get the 12 sticks of PVC pipe that um, does the 10 uh, quantity, so you get them for like a buck 65 each. So you're looking at about 20 bucks in pipe ish. Yeah, yeah, about 20 bucks in pipe, a little less, and a buck 50 each on the uh, on the four uh, one by twos. So you're looking at an under under thirty dollar prop, or under thirty dollar uh, piece for your cemetery fence. So that's really awesome. All right, hunt on.